And one of the most common questions we get are related to pesticides and herbicides and, and how to use them effectively uh, to control weeds and pests in our gardens and landscapes. Oftentimes, we can make a few changes in our application to improve our success. So one of the important things when we're choosing when to spray is picking the right day. We wanna make sure that there's not too much wind, that we don't have threat of moisture, um, and that the temperature is appropriate uh, for the given chemical that we're spraying. We also wanna make sure that the plant is in the right stage of development. All that information can be found on the label, so it's important to read the label and understand what you're using. Another important thing is to make sure that our herbicides have been stored properly. Make sure you read the label. Oftentimes, herbicides will say, do not store below 32 degrees. If your herbicides have been stored below 32 degrees and frozen, it significantly reduces their effectiveness. So the third thing that we, that we need to be aware of and watch for when we're uh, applying herbicide is to make sure that we match the right herbicide with the desired weed that we're trying to control. This information can also be found on the label. Make sure if you're spraying broadleaf weeds that you're using a broadleaf or a non-selective weed control product, uh, depending on the application you're looking for. With the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Bridger Fates and you're watching from the ground up.